After playing to a third straight scoreless draw against Real Salt Lake this season, the Sounders arrived in Salt Lake City, Utah Wednesday evening hungry for a win in the decisive second leg of the Western Conference semifinal. While the team's depth has been tested all year long, the Sounders had to prepare once again for the possibility of missing yet another key player for Thursday night's game. But on the bright side, they eagerly welcome back the team's leading goal scorer, Eddie Johnson. It helps us because obviously there's, uh, you know, you're adding a goal scorer into your lineup, a guy that the other team respects, and, uh, you know, that makes them a little more cognizant of that player, that little bit more respect sometimes alters how how they're going to uh, play defensively alters whether a guy's going to get there to support, you know, on Freddie, where he's maybe a little more concerned about Eddie and vice versa. So uh, I think it helps them both. I've come too far to, uh, you know, not, um, you know, be a part of it, you know, the special thing we got going on uh, as a team. And, uh, you know, we know how much it means to, you know, our fans and the organization um, and, and getting to the, the next round. You know, it's not going to be easy. Um, and like you said, uh, you know, we've had our ups and downs as a team. We've overcome adversity midway through the season, and uh, it's good to see the team gelling and, uh, you know, guys playing in important roles when guys are going down uh, on the team. So uh, as, a, as a unit, we're looking forward to the game. Balls up to Johnson and Montero are normally expected from Captain Moro Rosales, who matched his franchise record with 13 assists during the season. But after leaving Friday night's match early, his health for Thursday has been in question. He went through the early part of the warm-up for us uh, today, and then we sent him in. So it's definite progress from yesterday. Um, you know, so we were able uh, and to localize the injury. So we just got to see how he feels tomorrow, and we keep going, progressing day by day. Yeah, he's an uh, experienced player. Every time, if you lose an experienced player, it's hard for a team. He's our captain, uh, and he played well uh, the last games. Um, and for me, uh, don't know, maybe. Uh, the rule uh, is changing. Maybe I go a little bit on the side, but we will see on, uh, on Thursday. Real Salt Lake has health concerns of their own, as forward Fabian Espindola is a question mark for the second leg after leaving Friday night's match in the 46th minute. This could be a potential tough blow for the RSL attack that hasn't scored a single goal in over a month across all competitions. I mean, they have a lot of strong players, uh, a lot of passing and moving. Um, you know, they have guys that can score, guys that can cross. They're, you know, all, offensively, I think they're an all-around good team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and we have to just be able to stop them and counter off those. We have to do a good job defensively, you know, that's, that's all. And, and, you know, the best way to play defense is to keep possession of the ball. So the more we keep possession of the ball, the better, uh, you know, defending effort we're going to have as well. So it's a combination of both things. It's a combination of keeping possession, and it's a combination of, uh, of also, and it's also a part that when we lose the ball, that we have to be into good defensive positions that we know they they like to play narrow that they get their width from their outside backs and that we have an awareness of that. The Sounders are still looking for their first road win in the playoffs and they will have the tough task of doing it against a Salt Lake team that has only lost at home four times all year. Just a reminder, kickoff has been moved back to 7 p.m. Pacific. You can watch it locally on Kong, regionally on Root Sports, or nationally on the NBC Sports Network. And, of course, you can listen to it live on 97.3 Cairo FM. I'm Jackie Montgomery for SoundersFC.com. I'm Kyle Beckerman. I'm Landon Donovan. I'm Dwayne DiRosario. We love soccer. We train hard, we play hard, and we support with passion. When it comes to discrimination, we don't cross the line. No bullying, no racism, no sexism, no homophobia. No excuses, no exceptions. Don't cross the line. If you're playing, training, supporting, or coaching, don't cross the line.